hello friends today we are going to um, discuss span we will perform a lab regarding span what is span span is basically a switch port analyzer it helps us to uh, analyze the traffic of a specific port interface on a switch as well as it also helps us to analyze the traffic of a specific vlan created on a switch uh, here we have uh, two different types of span one is local span local span in in local span uh, uh, your uh, monitoring device and your observing device both the devices exist on a same switch whereas in uh, remote span your remoting uh, your monitoring device and your uh, uh, observing device both the devices exist on two different switches <coughs> uh, for, um, we will perform this lab uh, by using packet tracer because here we have uh, a sniffer device as well which helps us to uh, capture the packets uh, uh, of a specific interface on a switch first we will configure the local span here uh, we have uh, a scenario in which you can see that we have a multi access network uh, on which an OSPF uh, uh, routing protocol has been configured uh, both the a PCs on different networks uh, are able to ping each other. Now I will configure the mode span, uh, local span first. Okay, let me configure. Uh, first, I'll show you that uh, both the networks are accessible. Ping. 192.168.20.1 Here you can see that uh, these two networks are accessible. Now I will configure a local span on uh, switch 1. I have uh, uh, connected my sniffer device on the third port of uh, switch 1. All the ports, port 1, port 2 and port 3 of switch 1 are in uh, the same VLAN, VLAN 1 by default. Uh, uh, the All the ports are in the same VLAN which is default VLAN, VLAN 1. Now I will configure this switch quick terminal host name switch one um, VLAN two I will place the uh, the first two ports port one and port two in VLAN two and name network interface in gigabit zero slash uh, sorry fast ethernet fast ethernet zero slash one switch port mode access switch port access vlan okay now uh, our sniffer device is connected on third port of the switch so I will place it in a separate VLAN exit VLAN say I am going to configure VLAN 5 uh, name observer Interface fast Ethernet zero slash C switch port mode access switch port access VLAN five. Now I'm going to configure uh, the local span. Uh, here you can see that uh, my sniffer device and my uh, observing interfaces or uh, my observing uh, uh, VLAN. Uh, are in on the same uh, switch so i will 
configure local span here first monitor session one here we have the limit of two monitor sessions so i'm going to configure one here i'm going to configure source in source we have uh, three options interface vlan remote for local uh, span we have basically two options interface and vlan and um, i have two options here i can monitor uh, both the interfaces or i can monitor the vlan to in which both the interfaces exist so here i will configure uh, uh, the interface interface i'm going to observe my interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 now monitor right now you will not be okay let me show you another thing continuous thing on sniffer device right now you are not able to uh, see any kind of uh, icmp packets because uh, uh, this interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is being utilized for the icmp packets from this pc to this pc but you are not able to see any icmp packet on this you are able to see only the stp packet if you only want to see icmp packets just remove uh, stp packet here is Now you will not be able to see STP packets. We will only see ICMP packets here. So now I'm going to configure only uh, my uh, right now. I have configured source port, which is uh, going to be mirrored on port fast Ethernet zero slash three. What happens here when you configure span? Uh, on a specific interface on a source interface uh, copy of each packet is sent to the port which you are going to configure as an observing port so i'm going to configure uh, my fast ethernet 0 slash 3 as an observing port monitor session 1 now i'm going to configure destination interface fast ethernet 0 slash 3 now let's check the here you can see i am able to see the icmp packets as well as i am going to uh, i am able to see ospf packets these are the ospf packets you can see icmp packets let's check the status of icmp packets and source ip is this 192.168.10.1 and destination ip is this Similarly, you can observe the OSPF packets. Here you can see a IP is this, and destination IP is uh, this is the uh, IP address on which the OSPF packets are being forwarded. So, here this is how you can configure the local span. Now, let's configure. Uh, the remote span in which your observing device will be connected to the bridge on a remote location in this scenario we have to configure uh, uh, a trunk link between in the two switches and uh, uh, now the destination 
Uh, okay, first I'll remove the monitor session. One more monitor. Okay. Now I tell you what how you will configure the R span. Uh, to configure the R span, first portion will be same. Where you will configure the, the source interface or source VLAN. And for the destination part, you have to configure a separate VLAN which will carry the traffic of. Uh, uh, span from the source interface to the destination uh, interface which is on a remote switch now let me show you how you will configure the remote span first here you will be able to see that on switch 2 my uh, sniffer device is connected on fast listener 0 slash 1 Monitor session one source. This will be the same interface or VLAN, whatever you want. The source interface is fast Ethernet zero slash one. And now I have to configure a separate VLAN which will carry the traffic of uh, uh, span. Uh, from one switch to another switch and I have to do another thing. I'll show you here VLAN suppose I'm going to configure VLAN 3 for uh, the LAN purpose and I have to tell my switch that this VLAN is uh, will be utilized for uh, the span purpose only and how I'll tell my switch remote span this is this is the command which will uh, tell this switch that no other traffic will be uh, carried by this VLAN. This VLAN only carry the traffic of span. So now monitor session one destination. Here I have two options: remote VLAN three. Okay, configuration of remote span uh, done on switch 1. Now I will configure my trunk link gig 0 slash 1. Interface gig 0 slash 1. Switch port mode trunk. Oops. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q. Switch port mode trunk switch port trunk loud VLAN B. All is done on switch one. Now I'm going to configure my uh, second switch. Switch two. Enable config terminal host name switch to VLAN VLAN save three same VLAN that I configured on switch one which will carry the traffic of span and I will do the same thing on this switch as well remote span I will tell this switch as well that this VLAN will carry the traffic of span only okay another VLAN now I am going to configure another VLAN for my monitoring device and if you don't configure any VLAN it's okay but I am going to configure another VLAN VLAN for exit monitoring Sorry, name monitoring device. Okay, uh, exit. First, I'll configure the trunk interface. Interface 
gigabit 0 slash 1 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1 q switch port trunk uh, switch port mode trunk switch port trunk allowed vlan 3 only okay now interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port mode access switch port access vlan uh, what was the second vlan vlan 4 vlan 4 okay now i'm going to configure the a, a remote span on switch 2 as well so uh, monitor session this session can be different on the two switches as well um, it is not necessary that if you have configured monitor session 1 on switch 1 so you have to configure the switch uh, monitor session 1 on switch 2 as well doesn't matter you have you can configure these different uh, monitoring session uh, now here is the thing you have to notice that now i am going to configure the source what would be the source here source here would be the a mode span vlan vlan 3 which is carrying the traffic from switch 1 or switch 2 so source the mode vlan 3 monitor session 2 destination interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 okay now let's see first i'll off clear the now let's check whether my uh, it is pinging now let's see i'm able to receive yes you can see it is configured now i'm able to receive uh, my span traffic uh, on my sniffer device uh, which is uh, based on a second switch so friend this is how you can uh, configure span and uh, uh, local span and remote span and uh, on cisco switches i hope uh, you uh, are able to understand my uh, lab and um, if you have any query regarding uh, this lab you can ask me in uh, my uh, comments and don't forget to like my uh, video as well Thank you.